Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A uh, dilapidated house right on this side. I'm sorry, this side. And um, it just really looks uh, so off in the landscape, so I took a picture of it. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today, I'd like to share 1 John 4, verses 20 and 21. It says, if someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. Those who love God must also love their fellow believers. Here's my poem. When you love God. When you love God, you will follow his will. When you love God, you will learn to be still. When you love God, you will love your neighbors. When you love God, you will respect and not force. When you love God, there is peace in your life. When you love God, you will live under His light. When you love God, you will live in His truth. When you love God, you will allow His words to take root. Here's my essay. Most Christians think that they love God, but a few of them do not really manifest that love in their relationship with others. Since we cannot see God, how can we show that we mean what we, de what we de declare? Loving is not just saying or committing to Jesus in order in one day. It means that we are submitting ourselves to follow through that promise we made all of our lives. The Bible says that if we say that we love God and yet hate someone, we are called liars. He requires us to love others if we claim that we love him. We must manifest this, this love in the physical realm by showing it to one another. Prayer. Lord, help me to constantly love you through others. Reflection. What happens when you claim you love God and yet are mean to others? Well, um, first you get confused. Then you sin more because that is an open door for the enemy to work on you, on your um, inco incongruency or inconsistency. Uh, when you claim that you love God and you are mean to others, you are actually not giving a good testimony and you are going to confuse other people who are unbelievers as well. They wouldn't want to uh, have any part of your Christianity if you are um, doing otherwise than what you say. When you claim you love God and you uh, hate others, you are not... Um, actually following his word you're not and um you're not obeying his will because that is the opposite of what he wants you to do when you love god and when you claim you love god and you don't love others or you're not even good even even the bible tells us to be good even to our enemies and to pray for them so that they will uh, that we will give them a good testimony and that our lives will show to them and that they want to have a part of that so that's what happens when you love God and you don't love others, especially believers. Thanks for watching and I hope you are already ready for Christmas and um, I'm still preparing for a painting worship that will happen on the 24th. So I'm practicing painting so of the nativity scene so that I could praise God. Um, I hope that you will love one another and that when you claim that you love God, that you will love others. And especially this Christmas, reach out to somebody that you love God that, that by loving them as well. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas. And uh, I know it's still a few days from now, but I hope that you will reflect on what Jesus means in this season and what it means to celebrate Christmas is to bring Jesus to other people's heart. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much and so do I.